In the previous lecture, we had discussion on power triangle and now we are going to solve one question in which the knowledge of power triangle is required and according to this question, a 230 volts RMS source is supplying power to two loads which are connected in parallel and the first load draws 10 kilowatts at 0.8 leading power factor and the second one draws 10 kilovolt amperes at 0.8 lagging power factor. The complex power delivered by the source is. There are four options given in the question and this question is taken from gate 2014 ECE paper and I want you to pause this video and try to solve this question on your own. I hope you are done. Now let us understand how we can solve this question. According to the question, we are having one voltage source with RMS voltage equal to 230 volts and this source is supplying power to two loads connected in parallel and uh, let us say that the first load is Z1 and the second load is Z2 and for Z1, for the first load Z1, it is given in the question that it is drawing 10 kilowatts at 0 0.8 leading power factor. When you look at the unit, you will understand this is the real power. So for Z1, the real power is equal to 10 kilowatts and the power factor is leading. This means Z1 is capacitive in nature and this implies the reactive power is going to be negative. Now moving on to the second load we are having. According to the question, the second load is drawing power equal to 10 kV amperes at 0 0.8 lagging power factor. When you focus on the unit, you will understand it is the apparent power and the power factor is lagging. This means Z2 will have the inductive nature and the reactive power will be positive. Now we will assume that the source is providing the complex power S. This load is delivered the complex power equal to S1 and this load is delivered the complex power equal to S2. Now according to the principle of conservation of AC power, complex power S will be equal to S1 plus S2. Complex power S1 plus complex power S2 will be equal to complex power S. This is according to the law of conservation of AC power. And if we can have S1 and S2, we can have complex power S, which we want to calculate in this problem. So let us focus on the calculation of complex power S1. We know it will be equal to apparent power angle theta, where theta is equal to theta V minus theta i, the power factor angle. We can have S1 by dividing P1 by the power factor. So the complex power S1 will be equal to real power P1 divided by the power factor angle theta. And this will be equal to 10 kilowatts divided by 0 0.8 and the angle will be negative of cos inverse 0 0.8. Let us understand how we are writing this angle. We know power factor is equal to cos theta. From here we can say that theta is equal to cos inverse of the power factor. Power factor is 0 0.8 cos inverse and the negative sign we are having because theta is going to be negative when the reactive power is negative. You can see this from the power triangle. Now when you solve it, you will have the complex power S1 equal to 12.5 angle negative of 36.86 degrees. Let's find out the complex power S2. It will be equal to S2 angle theta. And this time theta is going to be positive because Q2 is positive and S2 is already given in the question. So the complex power S2 is equal to 10 angle 
86 degrees and uh, we are trying to perform the addition of S1 and S2 and therefore we will first have the rectangular forms of S1 and S2 and we will use our scientific calculator for this. I will first convert S1 to the rectangular form and for this I will press on shift and then on this negative button we are having REC. Inside the bracket we will input the magnitude and the angle separated by the comma. Magnitude is 12.5. I will place comma and then angle is negative 36.86. The bracket I will close now and then I will press on equal. And you can see that we are having 10 as the real part and to get the imaginary part I will press on RCL and then on 10 and we have minus 7.5 as the imaginary part. So we will have S1 equal to 10 minus J 7.5. Following the same process when you have the rectangular form of S2 you will find it is 8 plus J6. Now add them and you will have the complex power equal to 18 point J 1.5 and the unit will be KVA and this means option B is the correct option.